On the 12th of August 2002, the reconstructed assembly line was ceremoniously opened in the grounds of the company Carosa in Visokernito. It was the culmination of a total of two years of reconstruction of the production premises. Since 1970, Carosa has made buses using the panel method. After welding, individual panels were painted to achieve the final appearance and then they were completed on the assembly line. Basic assembly of skeletons takes place at workstations in the welding shop. The basis of the skeleton is welded from closed profiles of square or perpendicular cross-section and is coated with a ferrous zinc metal sheet which is one millimeter thick. The welding itself is performed in an inert CO2 atmosphere. The profiles whose inner parts are pre-treated by phosphating for further treatment in cataphoreses are welded in assembly fixtures. This guarantees high precision of the welded units. The welded units, grate, left side, right side and the roof are combined in a skeleton which is then transferred to the paint shop. Transport between individual workstations is done by means of ground transferring units. The basic workstation in the paint shop is that for cataphoresis, where skeletons are dipped in the cataphoretic bath. The 300 cubic meter cataphoretic tub is 18 meters long and 3.5 meters wide. Body painting and gluing of side metal sheet panels to the skeleton followed. This technology ensures quality treatment and anti-corrosion protection of the joint between metal sheet panels and profiles. The technology of gluing side panels is a new method used for the construction of buses by all leading world manufacturers. It guarantees high strength of the joint and prevents distortion of the side panel. At the beginning of the assembly line, the painted skeleton is placed onto special transporting devices on which it moves through the whole assembly line. In the first stage of assembly, the body interior is fitted the floor of the roof fixtures are installed and the body is glazed. The side and rear windows of the bus are glued to the body. As a result, body rigidity has been increased and driving qualities have been improved. For example, aerodynamic noise has been decreased. The next stage is the assembly of mechanical parts and the drive unit. The front and rear axles and the engine are mounted together with a gearbox. This assembly work is performed on the bus in an elevated position so that optimum conditions are ensured for the workers. In addition to working comfort and safety at work, this method also contributes to the quality of performed work. Seats are then mounted in the body equipped as described above. The fully equipped bus is filled with fuel and leaves the assembly line. Its mechanical parts will now be adjusted and checked at the diagnostics workstation. Before it is handed over to the shipping department, it must go through the so-called completion, final cleaning, removal of small defects and also a test in the wash box in which the bus is intensively washed with pressure water from all directions for 20 minutes in order to check leak tightness of the body.
The versatile character of the assembly line enables the production of buses with lengths varying from 7 to 15 meters. The capacity of the new assembly line has been increased to 8 vehicles in one shift as compared to 6 vehicles made on the old assembly line. From the production point of view, the plant after reconstruction is designed for the possibility of making 2,500 buses a year. Music